Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, it's time to discuss private employers paying below 70,000 naira risk of jail. The federal government, you know, has said that has mandated rather private sector employers to pay a minimum wage of 70,000 naira, warning that failure to comply is punishable by law. Agencies recruiting for the private sector must ensure that no worker earns less than 70,000 naira, even after deductions, to address current economic realities. The Employers Association for Private Employment Agencies of Nigeria expressed its commitment to the new minimum wage but requested clarification on whether the amount is gross or net. The Nigeria Labour Congress NLC emphasized the need for private employers to strictly adhere to the minimum wage, stressing that 70,000 naira is still insufficient given the current economic hardship. Joining us to discuss this is Barrister Justice Uwegbu. He's a human rights lawyer. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Once more. All right. So we're talking about minimum wage um, compliance to this, making sure that everybody gets at least 70,000 naira, regardless of whether you're in the public sector or whether you are in the private sector. Now, I want to understand the rationale behind this because a lot of people are saying that there is no clarification whether it's gross, whether it's net, how do we ensure, and for people who are not even making as much, um, how do we pay the people that we need to pay? So I want to get your take. What is the rationale behind this, ensuring that the private sector needs to also pay this amount? Well, the... The truth here is, um, most time it's not about making rules or laws. The, the issue is um, the, the practicability of these rules or laws and the reality on ground. Um, if you look at what is happening in the country today, you will discover that even most, some companies or some private sectors are even fighting to meet up with uh, production one way or the other. Our uh, last time, you remember the era of economic death meltdown, where many workers were are trained, uh, especially in the public in the private sector, which also went uh, across to uh, the, 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 the public sector. So it's not just making rules and laws, but the rules and laws you're making, is it sustainable? And if you look at it holistically, it is not possible because one, uh, what, are, what are the policies that the government has set in place before that to make sure that all things are equal? You cannot uh, mandate somebody who has been striving to, to survive his business or, you know, to manage his business and you're not giving him a, a, a template of what to do. It cannot work. Especially when we know in this country that the government are not even helping matters in the first place, that no long facilities uh, uh, by the uh, 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 public sector, there are no enabling environment and all the rest. The transition uh, of the taxes from, from the government in huge and all the rest. And secondly, you look at it also. Even the public sector you're talking about, many governors today have not even agreed to pay the seven fifty thousand dollar minimum wage. I think we are we are playing in this country. I, I think what they are trying to do is to ambush the public to believe that the public is their pro in their problem. As far as I'm concerned, it, it may not work because the government has to first of all show a level of responsibility. Yeah. before you now push it to the people. Mm. All right, so how would the government, you know, ensure that this is being adhered to? So, of course, they're saying you might risk jail if you do not pay 70,000 naira to all of your staff. But how are they sure that this would be comply, like people are going to comply to this? See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The ones that will happen, you see private sector closing up. Hmm. Because if a private sector cannot be able to pay, and they know that maybe because of the law or the rule, they hmm. may risk jail time, they will close up. And that means that there will be more unemployment in the Exactly, because I was about to ask that. Isn't, isn't this going to 
threaten job security at the moment and make it just a lot of people will be unemployed a lot of people will be out of jobs and of course that could now lead to crime it could lead to a lot of other things so how can we even help this right now what i'm saying is what has the government itself put in place mm. how many industries how many industries did the government itself have to suspend some of the things well, okay for example let me take Lagos for example come to Lagos today Many companies functioning in Lagos today operate with what we call casual workers. Yeah. You are it yourself. And if you look at these casual workers, you see that what they are earning is just from hand to mouth. Hmm. And they are even better than we see. Because they, 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 Nigerians only want food on their table. The government is not providing jobs. The government is not providing an enabling environment for even the, the, the private sector. And you're not coming up with this kind of law. I think we're joking in this country. I thought I'm surprised. <laughs> so you're going to law. Let's be realistic to ourselves. What I discover is this. The, the, the government is trying to, you know, set people against themselves. So at the end of the day, we are seeing the people are fighting the, same, the, the people. Mm. You know, trying to, trying to start to remove, uh, 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 I mean, attention to them. But that is exactly what I'm seeing here. So for me, it's not going to work. Mm. You know, because so somebody who set up a social industry with a small money, he does not have access to loan, he does not have access to facility from government, and he is managing to pay workers, and those workers are happy, you retain them at least they are still good at the end of the day. And you're not mandating that person look at what you're going to do. And you said he cannot do okay, let me close off. Hmm. You know, speak, speak, speaking how about... How many governors have agreed to pay the subsidy power in the first place? If this is not our problem, as far as I'm concerned, this is not what the government should be looking at now. Hmm. Speaking about closing up, a lot of businesses have left Nigeria. In fact, um, PZ Cousins, it was in the papers this morning, it was saying that PZ Cousins is going to sell all of their subsidiaries. And we've seen so many businesses that have closed up, so many eateries. A lot of people are not being able to do business at the moment because, of course, it's not a thriving environment. And when you have other laws like this, um, it just affects it. But I wanted to ask, do you think the government has done, you know, any analysis to understand the impact that it might have on small and medium scale enterprises? And for people who are not maybe, um, who are not working full time, maybe you just work a few days in a week, um, do they also have to get paid 70,000 naira as well? That, that one, you see, when you look at it very well and holistically, you would agree with me that uh, as far as I'm concerned, for now, this is not our problem. Because one, uh, the government is not doing anything to make sure that people sustain their daily bread in a day, not to talk of in a month. Now, look at it now. How much is a bag of rice? A bag of rice is, not, is even more than 70000 right. And for a family of three or four, a bag of rice that will not be enough for you for at least only two months. Now, you are not talking about other things. The government is not talking about how to subsidize food commodities, food items in the market. Because our agricultural system is not working. Nothing is working in the society. Nothing is working in the country. The, 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 they are busy in the, doing things that are not necessary. Okay, look at this kind of a rule now, or law, let me call it rule at the meantime that you're bringing up. I think I'm concerned, it's, it's neither here nor there. Let, let me also tell you one thing. One of the major problems, the major problem we're having today in the country is the pump price of fuel. Because that affects everything you do in the country. I assure you, if the pump price of fuel can come down to a hundred naira per liter, like the all these things will change overnight. Mm -hmm. It will change overnight. The problem is that, not like you said, the government don't do a statistic analysis before coming up with issues mm -hmm. like this. Maybe somebody will just, the minister will just wake up one day and bring up one policy and throw it to the public and it come, uh, you know, an issue of discussion just for me, just to create diversion, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Well, so do you think that there might be exemption? Because I, I'm wondering how the government needs to support the people, especially the people who have like the small and medium scale enterprises. Will there be an exemption for them? <laughs> Maybe even at this point, they just have to hire people um, as freelancers or pay as you go when you come, you do this and I'm just paying you for that. Do you think there might be some exemption for this? Because risking jail term is a big deal. So how can people go around this, especially if they don't have that amount to pay their workers? That, that one I'm trying to say again, the, the work that will happen if they want to implement this, the one that will happen is too many companies who have a sort of casual workers. Mm. So for casual hour, workers, you do not have to pay 70,000 naira. So is it just for people who are working full-time a month? They are not full-time full workers. Mm. So if, if they do better, they are not full-time workers. Mm. And as long as concerned, it is turned open. If you want to work, you work. If you don't want to work, you go. Mm -hmm. And when you look at economy, look at everything, and you don't have a choice, you want to take it off. That's the truth. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> so, but how can, how can the government support people better? What do you think they need to do to support these businesses? Well, the truth is, I don't like I said before, the government needs to uh, put up an economic team. If you remember, during the time of Jonathan, Jonathan had an economic team then that sat and did a holistic approach and analysis of what and what that will happen. And the highest in both rise, the rise was 8,500. What has happened? And all the food commodities. If they want to get it right, the best thing they do is set up an economic team to look at this thing holistically. So that all the states will follow food. It's only just wake up one day and make it up. And they expect people to follow and it will work. It won't work. You need to look at the interactive effect of that rule or that law you are making. Secondly, what have you put in place? Nothing. So looking ahead now, how can we have a better wage system in Nigeria? Because like you rightly said, a bag of rice is more than 70,000 naira. And for a family, that's not even enough. That's not enough to sustain them. But we know that we have to start from somewhere. And I think maybe this is just a step in the right direction whereby people need to earn, you know, just what is sufficient for them to feed, for them to just take care of their families. Fuel subsidy being gone is a major factor um, to what has led us here right now. But still, our wage system hasn't been the best. Other countries, if you look at the UK, if you look at the US, most people are earning per hour. But here, our labor is, 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 is kind of funny. You work all day. Um, it doesn't matter about the hours and then the days, and then this is just what you get. But how do you think we can have a better wage system in Nigeria? That also shows the efforts of the employer, or, um, or rather of the employee, and what they're putting to make that money. First of all, First of all, if you have a good government that believes in good governance and believes in delivering dividends of democracy to the people, and for me, it takes nothing to deliver dividends of democracy to the people. Secondly, who are the people you summon or you bring together as your economic team? Who are your advisors? What and what is they do? Are they connected to the people? Or you go and bring people from here and there and make them one thing or the other ministers and all the rest just to settle political loyalism. And that is what is the problem of this country. And people in the government, both at the National Assembly, they are living you know, big visual life and all the rest. A lot more trouble. Why we don't have infrastructure? No complaints. Today, ask, let me ask you a question. How many companies or industries today are owned by the government and is being managed by the government? None. Only NMPC. Even the NMPC now is even being run like a private company. 
Yeah. So what are we saying? Why should we keep on deceiving ourselves in this country? Let me give you an example from Ingo State. During the time of late Mbakwe of Blessed Memory, the former governor of Ingo State then, Mbakwe built industries, I would say companies, industries, industries that employed people. And remember, at that time, this man ruled or governed three states. Ingo, now, Adia, and the boy, they were all in Imo State then. As I speak to you, I can mention this, some of these industries. As I speak to you today, those industries are no longer functioning. So what are we saying? But during this time, these industries are functioning as your leading school, you're getting jobs. And you not only in Imo State, it goes across all the states. We no longer have, the government no longer have any industry functional in this country again. The ones they have, they are privatizing. So what are we saying? And you now want to regret the amount of private sector. Somebody took his hard and money to come and open up a small scale industry just to help people. And you now want to say, look at what we're going to do. What have you done for that person? He does not have access to loan. Uh, the, 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 is it the, 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 the monetary fund or whatever that people can, is neither here nor there. They are not doing anything. We have a, 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 a agricultural development program or all the rest. They are not working, but people are earning salary. Mm -hmm. Many of these, 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 uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, these agencies are not working. Nothing is happening, but people are earning salary. As I speak to you, an MPC, I know how much they are spending every month in worker salary, but they are not producing anything. Who is fooling who? Can't you tell ourselves the truth in this country? There are people who are even ghost workers. They never show up and, you know, they earn... I don't, they want, earn. To go, I don't want to go to ghost workers. <laughs> I don't want to go to leave ghost workers alone. Mm. We're talking about the workers the government are even uh, purpose to have been paying without production. Yeah. I don't want to go there. No productivity, yeah. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, so I was going to ask, we're talking about jail term here, but shouldn't there also be something else that could happen? So can they face a, can they get a fine or does it just go straight to jail term? If you do not pay 70,000 naira, um, you know, we're going to send you to jail. And is there a recourse for um, employees who go ahead and tell, and in fact, how do I even let, you know, the government know that my employer is not paying me this amount? What do I do? What are the steps? And then when that happens, what's the recourse for me to still have my own job security? Because I feel like a lot of people will be scared to report if they're getting less than that. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to lose the thing that puts food on your table. So how would that work? And then if an employer is being indicted and they find out that they do not pay that amount, is there a fine or is it just jail term that they go into? The truth is that, um, you know, this issue of just time, you know, uh, they know that it's the only thing that you say and Nigerians to a sort of get to me or get to me, something like that. I think that is why they are using that. But like I said before, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Let's be realistic. You know, um, I, I believe in sincerity of purpose, as far as I'm concerned. Now, you're putting your time. For such, you have not also put the time for people who are working in the public sector, directors, farm sex, and all the rest, who are not doing what they are supposed mm -hmm. to do. You have not put the time for, for senators, for House of Friends members, for ministers, and all. Well, I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, I think if we're going to say jail term, you should go everywhere. It cannot just be, oh, because you did not pay 70,000 naira. But how about the people who are corrupt in our nation and there's no jail term for them and they're not really facing the justice system. So it's important that, of course, um, if we're going to say that, it, it's everywhere. If you do not do what is right, then you would face, you will face the music. Anyways, um, so with this, I, I, I want to believe that the government definitely needs to put something 
in place for the people. You cannot just bring a policy and there are no measures to back up that policy. So what have you done? Have you done your analysis? Have you discovered how the impact on SMEs might just be? Have you tried as much as possible, as much as possible to say, okay, this is what we can do to cushion the effect? Because a lot of businesses are struggling. And when you talk about making sure that they're paying these amounts, some of them might not just, might not just be able to. And we don't want a situation whereby there are job losses, there's unemployment, people are redundant, and then they get into crime. And that is not what we want in Nigeria. We want job security for every single person. We want a better economy for each and every one that we can say, yes, our economy is flourishing and everybody is just doing their best. Anyways, we've been speaking with Justice Uhegu, who is a human rights lawyer, and we're just discussing the fact that um, Nigerians or businesses, privately owned businesses, may risk a jail term if they do not pay 70,000 naira to the least paid worker in their organization. This is where we have to wrap it up on this segment. We'll come back again soon, and we'll, dis we'll be discussing the impact on cryptocurrency in Nigeria. Please stay with us.